morning, Willow Springs. I'm Skylar Rucker. And I'm Grant Harlan. And this is Ms. Perez's fifth period class. And WSMS News starts now. Finally, a change in the weather. It's going to be a fun Friday. We tell you what to expect. Are you so afraid of the dark or maybe carry a baby blankie? Do not be embarrassed. All this and more coming up on WSMS News. Springs news. It's hard to believe we've already been in school for over a month, don't you think? Definitely. Make sure you are getting enough sleep and turning in, those, in your assignments on time. Those lunch detentions aren't fun. Nope. I'm in Powell's and last week we had our new student luncheon. We have over 50 new kids here at Willow Springs. I had the chance to, to talk to some of the kids. Let's take a look. <laughs> Julian Mayfield. Julian, where'd you move from? Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And how do you like this compared to that? This better. Thank you. I'm here with Reagan Fitz. Reagan, where'd you move from? I moved from Murphy Middle School. And how do you like this compared to Murphy? I like it a lot better because the people are a lot nicer and I like the teachers and stuff. I'm here with Isa Camacho. Isa, how do you like this compared to your other school? It's better. I'm here with Micah. Micah, where grade are you in? Seventh grade. And where did you move from? Garland. And how do you like, how do you like Willow Springs so far? Um, I like it. It's uh, different though. So I still like it. It's a good, good change. And what's the difference between Lovejoy and Garland? Um, I would say the lunch is here is I think it's better than my old lunch. So I like the lunch better. I think that's probably the biggest difference. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Evan. Evan, what grade are you in? Seventh. And where did you move from? I moved from Plano. And how do you like Lovejoy compared to Plano? I like it because it's like a smaller school district, and they're not gonna let you fall behind. And What's the difference between Lovejoy and Plano? Um, like that everyone's nice and that they know everyone because it's kind of smaller and it's a better community. So I've seen a lot of changes this year with advisory and only seven periods. Also added security. Let's go to McKenna Adamson with the added features. McKenna? Last year, Lovejoy ISD introduced the panic buttons to all the faculty. This year, the administrators decided they needed more security to our school with all the school violence around the U.S. Marshal Stephen Emery says that the number one reason people die in an emergency situation is because people bleed to death. This year, all classrooms are equipped with what's called a Stop the Bleed bag. It's not packing materials. Oh, no, it's, it's the, the bandage, the H bandage. Yeah. So let's say you have a punctured wound from, it can be anything, a knife, piece of construction outside. It's going through your arm. How are you going to stop that bleeding? So tourniquets are in the bag. Gauze is in the bag, so let's say you have a hole on your arm from a cut, you can push gauze into that cut. Tourniquets, you get shot in the arm, you put a tourniquet on as high as you can. It stops the bleeding. So by doing that, you're saving a lot. I was at the lake this summer and some of our friends were in a jet skiing accident and she sliced open her arm at least half of the way and we had to use something, we didn't know what at the time, to use a tourniquet to stop the bleeding and um, I used a bungee cord from a jet ski and um, it took us 15 minutes to get to the hospital and once we got there and um, the doctor was able to take care of the girl he told me that she would have lost her arm if I wouldn't have done it. The locks are an even better way that we can keep people out of the room if we ever needed it. Officer Emery says that there are even videos online that show how effective these locks are. It takes a lot to get in the door with two measures instead of one. For WSMS News, I'm McKenna Adamson. Thanks, McKenna. So we're finally going to see a change in the weather. Finally, here's Brianna Murphy with a look at the forecast. If you take a look at the forecast, you can see the weather temperatures are starting to finally cool down, mostly staying in the low to mid 90s and even dip into the high 80s. We even have a pretty good chance of rain over the weekend due to flooding in Houston. 
We are still above the normal lows for this time of the year. The normal low is 69 and the normal high is 90. This week, the Michigan Lake area is having flash flood warnings due to high amounts of rain in the air. The Sioux Falls area has started getting hit back to back by powerful tornadoes and now thousands are going through their day without power. California is currently up in flames, burning over 50,000 acres, causing NASA scientists to believe that climate change is making these fires more likely to occur and harder to stop. And right after Hurricane Dorian, a new hurricane, Hurricane Humberto, is projected to hit around late Monday or early Tuesday. Thanks, Megan. Have you seen all of our sports teams are doing recently? Yeah, they've been tearing it up. Now here's the sports crew. I'm Ben Muirhead. This past weekend, Leopard fans packed out the stadium for our annual Leopard Friday. Parking was impossible as shuttle buses had to take people from Hart and Willow Springs. Lovejoy had a spectacular game with a blowout score of 42-14. This is the second home game win for the Leopards. Number 20, Austin King on the carry for the big fourth down pickup. On the tackle for the Warriors, number 26, Jake Herzog. This weekend is a bye week, and the next game is the 27th in Aubrey against the Braswell Bengals. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Kira has an update on the WSMS football games on Tuesday. Football had their third game on Tuesday against Rockwell Utley. Eighth grade was home, and both games were exciting. We've got some video of that of the game. I'm Brendan Cooper. I'm here with Yulani, Kira, and Bella. How do you guys think B-Team did? I think they did really good. They won 50-18. 50 to 18. What about you, Bella? I think they did really good. Kira? They did a pretty snazzy job. They were throwing the ball, catching it, touchdowns. I'm Brendan Cooper. I'm here with Jaden, Jasper, uh, Mason Dragu, Will Ferendorf, and uh, Alexander Franklin. How do you guys think B-Team did today? I think we did pretty good. I mean, it was a 24-point win, so. What about you, Mason? Uh, we were pretty consistent in our blocks, and uh, I think we just did all around the team. Good job. What about you, Will? I think we did pretty good on offense, but we need to fix up some things on defense. Alexander? Yeah, what Will said, we did great on offense, but defense we need to uh, fix. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> yeah.
Eighth grade black won 29 to 6. Red won 50 to 26. Seventh graders were away. Both teams shut out Utley. Take a look at the scores. Seventh grade black won 20 to 0, and red won 21 to 0. The volleyball team has a game tonight against Wiley McMillan. Eighth grade is home, and seventh grade is away. C team is at 5:30. B team is at 6:30, and A team is at 7:30. Hope to see you there. Thanks, Kira. I'm Kyle with National Sports. The Dallas Cowboys are off to a hot 2-0 start with another win against the Washington Redskins. Dak had a big game and threw for 269 yards, three touchdowns, and ran for 69 yards. Makes the catch and has another. King's official. He said, yeah, but we really love 33. Yes, they do. A lot of time for Prescott. Going to launch it. Going deep down the field. And it's caught for the touchdown. Devin Smith, the speedster out of Ohio State, the former Jet, with his first catch of the year. Also, there's some bad news for a couple of teams. Drew Brees is out for six weeks with a thumb injury, and Ben Roethlisberger and Sam Darnold are out for the season. Thanks, Kyle. Over the weekend, the U.S. accused Iran of being behind a drone attack on Saudi Arabian oil fields. Here's Nolan Novotny with the headline news. I'm Nolan Novotny, and welcome to Headline News. President Trump tweeted the United States is locked and loaded for a possible response to a weekend attack on a Saudi Arabian oil field. The U.S. is blaming Iran for the air drone attack that knocked out half the country's oil capacity. I, I didn't say that. I, why do you say that? I said that we think we know who it was, but I didn't say anybody. But uh, certainly it would look to most like it was Iran, but I did not say it the way you said. Go ahead. That's about 5% of the world's daily global oil supply, so oil prices shot up. Members of the United Auto Workers Union are on strike against General Motors. The union's 46,000 workers walked out across the nine states, including the GM plant in Arlington. It's the first strike in 12 years. Workers say they gave up cost of living pay raises to help GM get through bankruptcy, and now that the company is making record profits, they want some of that back. During July 2018, the Texas Education Agency released official grades for school campuses for the first time. This year, 8,800 more schools were added to the accountability report. Our school had, an, had high ratings with an A in every category except for relative performance. Yesterday, the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum opened. The 55,000 square foot building went under construction in October 2017 and is finally open to the public. Inside the museum, you can find 68 different holograms of Holocaust, Holocaust survivors that you can talk to. The museum is expecting 200,000 visitors each year. That's it for Headline News. Back to you. When we come back, we'll talk about the social tomorrow, club day, and if you are one of the 1.5 million headed to Area 51. There will be volleyball, basketball, nukem, and dodgeball and in the two gyms. Dance for me. And it's a dance that this event will occur from 4.30 to 6.30 and all foods and drinks will be $1. There will be games and a 2K tournament in the choir room. You only have 20 spots to join, so sign in your Google form now. I'm McKenna Adamson. And I'm Abigail Getna. Welcome to Social Media. Tomorrow, the new iPhone 11 comes out. It's the same size as the last iPhone, the XR. The new iPhone 11 has six colors, such as red, black, white, and yellow. And the new colors are green and purple. The 11 has two cameras, and the Pro has three. The 11 is $699, the 11 Pro is $999, and the 11 Max is $1099. Speaking of phones, nearly 7,000 teenagers were surveyed about their social media use, and researchers found that three or more hours on social media correlated with higher rates of mental health issues, such as depression and anxiety. Social media can also cause external problems too, like aggressive and antisocial behavior. Will anyone actually storm Area 51? Hundreds of thousands of people online say they will storm Area 51 tomorrow. It started as a joke on Facebook to storm Nevada's Ground Zero, but quickly got out of hand. So what is Area 51? It's a U.S. Air Force training range in the southern Nevada desert. Everything there is top secret, but many say that they've seen or heard UFO-like disturbances. The creator says he's afraid it will become a humanitarian disaster. Will anyone show? Only the aliens know. Now here's Luca Duick with a package on Miss Mouse's company, Loops by Low. 
Loops by Low is Miss Moss's jewelry company where she makes and sells necklaces, bracelets, earrings, keychains, and chokers. These are all handmade. I created it because I wanted a way of um, providing affordable jewelry. Um, so everything I sell and make is under $50 and I just love being able to offer that to everyone. Some students advertise her products. Finley Abernathy is what you call a junior ambassador. Um, it was really fun and we took some really cute pictures. I got red earrings that dangled down and a gold necklace. I'm inspired by different things. Right now I'm doing a lot of earrings, um, but it just depends. I do necklaces and chokers and um, bracelets. It's more about like if I'm out and I see something, I try and like make something similar or I'm inspired by lots of things I read in magazines. Her college friends also help her out. She has an Instagram where she promotes her products and many teachers at school wear her lanyards that she makes. They're from everywhere. Um, I've ordered like feathers from Thailand and silk from Indonesia and um, I'm on Etsy a lot and then there's a couple like wholesale people that help provide me with beads and different things like that. Teaching will always be first priority and so loops definitely um, falls by the wayside whenever I'm, I have too much. You can find these products on her Instagram and personal website. For WSMS News, I'm Luca Dewey. Now for advisory check. On Mondays, we do a weekly leadership mini lesson. Then we do deer time. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we do deer time. Then we have homework time for the rest of the period. And Thursday, we do announcements, teachers check grades, and then we have homework time. On Fridays, when we don't have an activity or a pep rally, then we do homework. Don't forget about what we learned in advisory on Monday. Be kind and confident. This Friday, we have our very first club day. It is for students and teachers to participate in fun activities during school. It will be during our advisory period. Then right after that, we'll have our first Willow Spring Social. It will be in the three areas, the main gym, the aux gym, and the cafeteria. There will be music, food, and fun activities. It is right after school from 4.30 to 6.30. September 30th, band has their first fall concert at the Lovejoy High School Auditorium from 6.30 to 7.30. Next summer is our Costa Rica field trip. If interested, you can talk to Ms. Perez for more information about the trip. And finally, most kids have baby blankets that they hang on to. Sometimes our moms bring them and hang them up, and sometimes we just hang on to them and even bring them to college. I visited with counselor Ms. Stone, who has a baby blanket in her office, and she'd like to invite some students who are now in eighth grade to come and see. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I would use those colors either. I never use pink. In 2014, all elementary homeroom classes created something to auction off for denim and diamonds. Second graders from Mrs. Haynes' class at Hart Elementary decided to make a quilt. In elementary school, all classes created, each class, homeroom class, made something to auction off for denim and diamonds. Yeah, oh my gosh, wait, that's me. <gasps> when these second graders were in Miss Haynes' class, a grandmother, it was Caden and Carson Brannell's grandmother, made this quilt. So all the kids in Miss Haynes' class wrote their name on the back of it. They also painted their hands and put a little fish on the quilt. It's just kind of a fun reminder of how little y'all can be and how this was probably fun at some point in your lives. But it really kind of shows, I bet this is our good memories for second grade in this class and probably how everybody used to be friends also. So all the eighth graders that are here now, if you had Miss Haynes at Hart Elementary, your handprint should be on this. Miss Stone says she wants all the eighth graders in Mrs. Haynes class to come take a look. Oh my gosh, that's me guys. We've got Eva and Charlie and Emma and Grace, Grant, Caden, Carson, Austin. Declan, Mackenzie, Travis, there's all kinds of names on here. Y'all need to come see your hands. I'm Peyton Archer for WSMS News. Cute story. Finally, we decided to ask you guys what you did as a baby, and you're still doing it today. Roll the story. I'm here with Kevin and Owen on another segment of Wayback Baby. Kevin, what do you do now that you're still as a baby? Uh, I still sleep with my pillow pets. Owen, what do you do? I keep my light on kind of late. Thank you. I'm here with Elena Klinger. Elena, what do you do now that you did as a baby? I play Minecraft. Are you good at it? Oh yeah, I'm a big gamer. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with Eva. Eva, what do you do now that you did as a baby? I sleep with the same blanket. Thank you. I'm here with Zane and RJ. Zane, what do you do now that you stood as a baby? Play Minecraft. Play Roblox. Thank you. I'm here with Mia and Darby. Mia, what do you do now that you did as a baby? I still keep a light on at night. Darby? I sleep with my closet light. 
Thank you. I'm here with Avery, Conrad, Brendan, and Ryan. Do y'all do anything now that you did as a baby? We play Minecraft together. All of us. And Roblox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roblox. 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 For life. Blood Moon Tycoon for life. <laughs> I'm with Miss Stone. Miss Stone, do you do anything now that you did as a baby? I still get scared that there's monsters under my bed. Thank you. I'm here with Cammy, Elise, and Ava. What do y'all do now that you still did as a baby? I still play Roblox. I still play Minecraft. I play Minecraft with Elise. <laughs> Thank you. I still run and jump on my bed after I turn off my light. What do you do? I still have a stuffed animal named Thumper. <laughs> Thumper? Yes, Mama. What did your father tell you this morning? If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Well, that's it for our announcements. Have a good day. And remember, Leopards Roar is one. Roar!